This game is tea and is not suitable for kids. <laughs> Don't let your kids watch it! Ah, spoiler alert! Hey there, Marty! And guess. Welcome back, everybody, to Ace Attorney Investigations 2. Marty didn't get to talk at all last video, but nope. that's gonna change. We're on the inherited turnabout beginning part two. It's like beginning part two of eight. <laughs> then we get to the middle. <laughs> End part two of five. This is a long case, so strap in. Okay. I'm ready. Whoa, she made Ariel's she made palace. Ariel's she, ma palace. <laughs> she made Triton's palace. <laughs> it's not Ariel's palace. <laughs> Can you imagine? Ariel's She's the palace. youngest daughter. It's of real. Second. It's like, we are Ariel? the daughters of Triton. <laughs> but Ariel's the favorite. <laughs> she is though. I don't know how to raise a teenage daughter. <laughs> Bro, you had like seven. You before. had like seven, and you I didn't do a good job with them. I. <laughs> Anyhow, we're not here to talk about how bad Little Mermaid is. We're here to talk about it. December twenty fourth, seven thirty p.m. <laughs> to contest venue, Delicious Room. Boy. Wow, a candy castle, and there are even some fairies over there. Is it fully functional? This room seems to be structured in the same way as Master's room. But it's nowhere near as cold! This room also seems to have been fitted with a temperature control panel. Ooh! Oh, you can voice that guy. You get to voice that forensic. Yes. <laughs> ah, it's that over there by the orange lamp, right? Indeed. Let's not forget to investigate it later. Even so, this room is like something out of a fairy tale. Is this cream-colored castle Delisha's work? Where's Delisha? Oh, this is Delisha, I Boy, think. can I help you? Gotta see her. Oh, she is like a small little chef. Okay. Whose art style clashes pretty drastically with the rest of the it's game. It's an anime girl! Hello, boys! I'm Delisha's coat! I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> she's, a, she's British. In my native England, I'm known as Miss Delicious. Being called a boy, even though I'm already 34. <laughs> it's certainly a rare experience. <laughs> yeah, have fun. How old is she? I gotta see. Her, her age is question mark. Oh, it is? Mm-hmm. But, boys, I, I understand you calling me that, but Mr. Edgeworth... As far as I'm concerned, you're all boys to me, even the detective over there. My name is Bad, not Boy. Just how old is this woman? Mr. Attorney, let's just finish our business here. She's like here. old bag and that she just like doesn't remember her age. So she's like, I don't know, I'm 28. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Pickle Wiggle. Hmm. Right. Oh, it's like Mrs. Tickle Wiggle. You! What do you think you're doing? Conversing with a mere attorney? Oh, hello. He's <laughs> in the castle! <laughs> <laughs> that laugh, though. <laughs> Burst open the doors like fools. I am God. <laughs> but Mr. Edgeworth, a scary man just came out of that candy castle. Von Karma. Uh, this man is Prosecutor Von Karma. He ain't Miami. So he's Von Karma. Is that Von Karma? No. <laughs> Pleased to meet you, Prosecutor Von Karma. My name is Gregory Edgeworth, defense attorney. Uh, we haven't met. Bah, I have no interest in the names of defense attorneys. He looks just as bad. After all, they only exist to be crushed by me. <laughs> what a rude man. <laughs> that piercing gaze and furrowed brow. Uh, he's even scarier than the rumors say. <laughs> Although that statement was also very rude. <laughs> <laughs> Prosecutor Von Karma. Would you allow us to investigate, too? Absolutely. <laughs> you think I would give information to a mere defense attorney? <laughs> bah! <laughs> As I thought, it won't be that simple. We're gonna have way too much fun with this. <laughs> However, I'll make a special exception for this room. He's proofed it already. Why did he change his mind so quickly? You, old bloodhound! Don't call me that. My name is... Bad. Ha! A mere detective speaking back to me. <laughs> I admire your courage, at least. This is, uh, <laughs> King Karma's palace. Bad, stand watch and see to it that they don't misbehave. Why, me? I will not accept your refusal. 
Well then, I'll be investigating Gustavia's room next. Well, and hitting spa on the way there. Yes. Spa, spa, spa. <laughs> We're flanderizing him now. We're flanderizing him. <laughs> I'm babysitting again. <laughs> I wonder why he and Von Karma aren't investigating together. He's babysitting again? Does that mean Dad had to babysit, like, baby Francisca at some point? Oh, for absolutely. Because he'd already heard of her when they met. Yeah, that's true. So it's true. probably like, you watch my one-year-old daughter while I prosecute. And he's like, <laughs> yes. you take the child. And she's just like, she's like a rattle that he keeps, <laughs> she keeps hitting him with. <laughs> that would totally be her. I wonder why he and Von Karma are investigating together. Instead of being on bad turns, it seems like they hardly know each other. Mr. Edgeworth, now that we've get, got Von Karma's permission, can we continue investigating? Or we can continue investigating. Yes, his manner bothers me, but I am glad that we can at least continue the investigation. Hold it. I also need to investigate this room. I don't want you disturbing the room. So you'll investigate after me. What? Aren't you the detective in charge of this case? Why haven't you investigated this room yet? The detective in charge of the initial investigation was a close colleague of Von Karma. I came to take over for him, so I only just got to this mansion recently. So that's why he and Von Karma aren't investigating together. Detective Bad, will you allow us to investigate with you like before? In doing so, you'll be able to supervise us and also ensure we don't tamper with anything. You want me to watch you? You're a strange lawyer. <laughs> I'll let you stick around a little longer. I like how the guard has his face bashed into the desk <laughs> so he can't actually see anything yeah. <laughs> Yay! You did it, Mr. Edgeworth! He's eating paper. Thank you, Detective Bad. But if I decide you're holding up the investigation, you'll have to leave. Yes, I understand. Well then, let's begin the investigation. Bup, 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 bup. Taco yeah. to him. Taco to him, indeed. Hey, Raymond. The sickly sweet smell of cream! Yes, this truly is a fairy tale world. And yet, here in this sugary sweet room, there was one with such a sour face. <laughs> he doesn't belong in this room. That scary old man. Raymond, mind what you say. You're being a bit rude. S sorry uh, It won't happen again. He reminded me of my old school teacher who used to get mad at me a lot. A school teacher? I definitely don't want to think of my son being taught by such a man. Oof! The dramatic irony! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Why? Hey, bad. What? Why, why is he touching his face? He's, he's fiddling oh, at the Hawaii box. Oh, I thought he was just kind of like... <laughs> no, 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 it's like... <laughs> what? So like he's gonna kiss his lips. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> this room has the same design as Master's room. Is something bothering you? Von Karma was investigating inside the candy castle. <laughs> it wasn't exactly big. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, Delicious Scones, question mark. Pastry chef, her name is Miss Delicious. Hails from England. So I get... Look at that face! What she is... does look like Va um, Cookie Mama meets Pinocchio. In what way does she look like Pinocchio? It's other like than the, the fact the that she has the rosy cheeks. cheeks. Maybe Big Boy meets... <laughs> <laughs> Big Boy meets Cookie Mama? Uh, what a combo. Man from Vancouver 49. He really looks like a vampire there. He looks like... <sighs> he doesn't look like a Koopa there, at least. A Koopa. Not Koopa. A Koopa. A Koopa. Von Karma. Uh, I wonder why. Detective Bad, do you suspect Alicia or Von Karma? What if Von Karma was the killer? He's like, oh, I've been a criminal mastermind all of all. You only caught me for one. <laughs> yeah, that wouldn't surprise me. That woman is hiding something. Well, she knew his name. My detective spirit is telling me so. She called him Manny. No one just makes a nickname like that. Yeah. Immediately. She might. Is that his detective's intuition? Something about this room definitely troubles me as well. I should listen to what Delisha has to say. And then she turns into a demon. I'm an attorney. Working with defense attorneys isn't worth it. They go through the crime scene as they please and interpret their findings to their favor. Ooh, you're, that sounds like what Phoenix Wright does. 
Do you also feel that way about me? Hmm. He didn't confirm or deny it. Want some tea? I would like to ask your opinion about this piece of evidence. I refuse. I hate pointless chatter. I guess he's not interested in things he doesn't think are related to the case. Ooh, fine. We'll talk to the guard so Marty can invoice someone. Don't turn around! Don't turn around! <laughs> if you do, you're only gonna eat the castle! <laughs> this forensics officer seems to be on a diet. <laughs> That's it! Oh! <laughs> Damn on a diet! <laughs> I'm talking out just the left side of my mouth. Oh, I see. <laughs> There's a burner and some chemicals over here. They were probably used to make desserts. What are these chemicals? The writing on the labels say... Number one, punch out. And number nine, suffering. Oh, are they poisons? No, they're both used to make desserts. Seems to be artificial flavoring and coloring. Punch out is a classy name for a It's so hard to enunciate. Punch out is very misleading. What bothers me is this guy's voice and what suffering stands for. Ooh, I wonder what's in the fridge. <laughs> There's a cover on the wall, just like in Mr. Master's room. Let's open it up. Hmm. The room temperature is 68 degrees Fahrenheit, and the lights are set to green. Gustavia said that 50 degrees Fahrenheit is the ideal temperature for fresh cream. This room's temperature is too high. Or Gustavia's wrong and just pulling that or out of the Or it's not real cream. This is intriguing. <laughs> it's so big. You can sleep in there? I can't believe this amazing castle is made entirely out of confectionery. I know! What a work of fantasy! It's like a fairy tale world! You like all this fairy tale stuff, don't you? Ah! Uh, sorry! I got a bit too excited, didn't I? No. It's interesting to me, since you're so enthusiastic about it, unlike my son. Your... son? He's only in grade school, yet he prefers to read law books instead of fairy tales. I am worried that he won't be able to make any friends that he can talk to. Heh, <laughs> what an interesting kid. I'd like to be his friend. Haha, <laughs> I think you'd be more of an older brother to him. <laughs> an older brother, huh? Well, I've got some growing up to do then. Yes, and that's why we have to continue with the investigation. Aw. I won't rest until I've inspected every nook and cranny. Blue tarp that was used for death. The castle doors are open. When someone opens a door, they really should remember to close it afterwards. Would he say that directly to Prosecutor Von Karma, though? Huh? Looks like there's some stuff inside. Hmm, let's see. Wait. I'll examine it. Stay out of the way. Fresh cream melts too easily. Yeah, because it's too high of a temperature. Seems like Detective Bad's shoes got covered in cream. So did Von Karma's. <laughs> because he was in there too. Why That's would he... really why he left. He's like, my stupid shoes are covered in cream. Now I have to buy new shoes. <laughs> you could just clean them. No. <laughs> no. These are ruined. They're no longer perfect. Why were these why were these objects kept inside the candy castle? If there's anything you want to investigate. You better speak up now. Okay. What's this tarp for? I see it. There are rolls of blue cloth here. That yeah, was covered the victim. Looks like there's four of them in all. They certainly don't look like desserts. Yeah. I don't know what the cloth is for. It almost seems like it was hidden here inside of the castle. Also, the color of this cloth looks familiar somehow. Two big rocks are placed here. It's like a storage room. Yeah, the inside of the candy castle isn't so dreamy. Hey, maybe they're raw gemstones. Who knew that there were such treasures hidden within the castle? 
Seems like a rather careless way to handle the treasure. Hmm. It looks like there's something underneath the rocks. Seems there's a pedestal attached to both of the rocks. Pedestal? Of course! It's a pedestal for displaying the gems! Well, in any case, this is no ordinary object. There aren't any clues- there definitely is. You were one pixel too low! There aren't any clues here! <laughs> hmm, this pillar has a hexagonal recess. Looks like a pedestal, but it has nothing in it. A hexagonal recess, huh? I wonder what could have been put there. Gee, I wonder! <laughs> A giant strawberry would fit with the fresh cream. Detective Bad, I don't think strawberries are hexagonal. <laughs> you aren't buying the right strawberries. <laughs> I was just hoping. Oh my god. <laughs> then, I hope it's a banana. Nope! Ray's worst character. <laughs> um, bananas are great. Bananas Artie are has, awful. like, Artie hates bananas. Mr. Wellington loves large bananas and, and hated, I hate them. Has hated them his whole life. Literally my whole life. And I can't understand or fathom that, but... I think okay. I'd prefer blueberries. I don't like cherries. Like, cherries are just. Dayquil has forever ruined cherries for me. Logic, logic, logic. Alright, well, we got the pedestal of rock, and we got the hexagonal recess. That certainly the seems The high room temperature is how they were beaten to death. <laughs> <laughs> the rock. It's so hot. Yeah, just kill me now. <laughs> Assisted suicide. The rock's pedestal has a similar shape to the recesses on the castle's pillars. Perhaps the rock is meant to be placed on top of the pillars? Oh, that's right! They're both hexagonal! I wonder why they were hidden inside the castle, though. The blue cloth and the rocks inside the castle. I wonder if they belong to Delicia. Delicia? Those fanes in the castle, what are they used for? Oh, got it. Eyes, come on. Back. Uh, uh, those? I'm afraid I can't tell you. I'm trying to remember what the heck I gave her as a voice. Looks like Von Karma is keeping her silent. I've been found out! He'll get mad at me if I talk! Prosecutor Von Karma doesn't intend on being upfront with his information. Aw, such a shame. We finally figured out where the rocks are supposed to go. Could it be that you were interested in my goods? Eh? Your goods? Those are my popular relaxation goods! You mean... the rocks and the cloth? Yes, see! That's right! You see, they're not actually rocks, but special lamps made from rock salt. Wow! So those are lamps! <laughs> it gets even more exciting. Because this cloth also has an amazing secret! As soon as we showed interest in her goods, she became quite talkative. Since we've got them out, come experience the therapy, boys. Batty, could you put everything up? It's not Batty, it's bad. So you won't do it? Is Batty being a bad boy? She's not crying here. Oh. She's like, is Batty being it. a bad boy? Is Batty being a bad boy? No comment. <laughs> Laddie. Are you done photographing this room? Yes, sir, I am. Then go help Delicia. Yes, sir, I'm on it. <laughs> I'm on it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. I knew you were a good boy underneath, Batty. Miss Delicious, that was amazing. You even persuaded Detective Bad. Yeah, her voice is even changing a million times. It's great. <sighs> Thanks a lot, Batty, and you too, Forensics. I, d I don't know how to... That's too she's close so, to the K voice. I know, she's too... I don't even know. Now I see what you mean where you're like, what I just, you gonna do? <laughs> I had multiple voices. I feel like the main one... She's not British. Like, she is she British, but she's not. She's from England. That doesn't mean she has an she, accent, though. I'm trying to think of, like, okay, what I want to do... I, I I think the voice I gave her the most was like, that's mean, Miley. That's mean. <laughs> what I'm thinking of is kind of similar. Do you remember Gideon? From, Gideon. From Gravity Falls. Yeah, Lil Gideon. Lil Gideon. It's kind of like that. Don't give her a southern accent. I know she's, but that's not southern. I mean, it is. Gideon has Gideon, a southern accent. Gideon does have a southern accent. But, um, some of it is, I have a very high-pitched French female who may reappear. I don't know. Maybe she's the killer. You and didn't then, give her a French accent, though. 
<laughs> it's the thing it's who's a who. It's the French accent. No, it's a clear it, it was different. Forensi. She even gave the forensics a nickname. I think that's her way of showing she cares. Does it for What's Manny? so therapeutic about these things anyway? I'm trying to think. You can give her like a Japanese voice. We don't have time for that now. Okay, no, nope, nope, nope. nope. <laughs> nope. All I can think of is even better than Mama. <laughs> we don't have time for that now. I, yeah, it's like I yeah. See, she's so hard to voice. It's not that the problem is she's British. She's from England. She's from. But England. she looks Japanese. She's from England, but she's like an anime and she's girl. She's got definitely got a lot her, of plastic surgery. But, yeah, and then her age is ambiguous. And she's short. And she's short, but she's not like a. Um, and she's in America. When I first saw her, I was like, maybe Sister Bikini, and then I'm like, no, she's not that type at all. No. She's not the. Oh hi. She's not that. Oh hi. <laughs> oh hello. Or whatever. Like. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what that sound was either. Um. <laughs> we don't have time for that now, Batty. The show's about to begin. Do you just want Mary me Berry to do a Mary Berry voice? <laughs> Try the Mary Berry. Let's we see. We don't how have it... time for that now, Batty. The show's about to begin. Frenzies, finish touching. Finishing touches, please. Finish touching. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes, ma she becomes a British. It's... Wow! It's so beautiful! It really is. I wish my son could see this. Oi! Yeah, who... Oi! 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 <laughs> how, does, how does Mary Mary say... Oi. Oi. I Oi. told you so, right? Yeah, yeah. Why are you not voicing her? I don't know. Because then you literally have no one to voice. <laughs> except <laughs> forensics. <laughs> one of the three. Oi, I told you so, right? The Four Fairies and the Curious Candy Castle was the theme of my work. It's so sparkly and cute, right? Yeah, she could have like the Mrs. Potts style voice as well. It's so sparkly and cute. It seems like one of them is missing something. The truth is, I had planned to unveil it during the contest. Well, I'm glad I got to show it to you, boys. Huh? But it doesn't look like the rock salt lamps are lighting up. Uh huh? I wonder why. I think I'll need to examine the rocks and the fairies again. The key is if I'm British, I gotta avoid the British accent I'm using for the other chick. Yes, don't give her the Courtney Zelda. voice. Zelda. It says the four fairies in the Curious Candy Castle. It seems that this was the theme for Delicia's works. But it's not just the Candy Castle that I'm curious about. Here are all the tools used to make desserts. Everything from a bucket of fresh cream to a brush and a trowel. Looks more like a construction worker's tools. Hey now, boys, don't undersweetimate the Und work- under mate under mate the work of a pastry chef. It's completely different from the construction work where they covered the walls with cement. We use the trowel to smear the cream and the brush to clean any uneven parts. How is that different from construction work? What is it, Mr. Attorney? Something about that ladder bothering you? Detective Bad, it's actually a stepladder. They're both the same to me. They're completely different. Look at their basic nature. Yeah, Mr. Edgeworth, you tell him! <laughs> the origin of the origin of the stepladder. Unlike the other fairies, this one doesn't have a fluorescent cloth. Miss Delicious, it's not right to leave one out. Is this gonna be like... Is it gonna be like, uh... Mary? Sleeping Beauty? Sleeping Beauty, there's the three fairies, and then there's Maleficent, who's technically a fairy. Oh, but she's the... But she's, she's left out. <laughs> oh, no, oh, I see what you're saying Yeah, now. <laughs> I don't like it either. But, one fluorescent cloth and a machine has gone missing. You've lost a cloth and a machine... What sort of machine is it? A machine. <laughs> machine. Decapitation oh, hazard, everybody. <laughs> what? <laughs> From the Mythbusters. Where they have no, it. Oh, I forgot about decapitation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, let me tell you. Each piece of fluorescent cloth is hooked up to one of these machines. Oh, you could do... No, it's not we. It's oi. So... Oi. 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 <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I forgot about Zack and Wiki. This machine is called a rainbow light device. 
Light is sent through the cable and into the cloth, which is made of optic fibers. Just fiddle around with the settings a bit, and it will turn into all sorts of colors. When it glows red, it's like a raging inferno! When it glows blue, you can almost feel the glittering cool ice. It's powered by long-lasting battery that's resistant to changes in the temperature. Um, I'm not very familiar with these kinds of devices. Mr. Edgeworth, she's saying it's a machine that transmits light to the special cloth. I see. It's amazing what they can come up with these days. So one rainbow light device and one fluorescent cloth are missing. Yes, see, that's right. Wherever could they be? This fluorescent... This fluorescent cloth, could it be related to the case? Fluorescent cloth added to the court record. Mr. Gord. Is that... Like, elf on a shelf right there? Elf on a shelf, fairy on a prairie? Fair, fair, fairy on a prairie, I like it. Alright, Delicia. Oh, she's got the Nicole Swift music! <laughs> <sighs> huh? Miss Delicious, you don't seem as energetic as you were earlier. Delicia, can I just ask, did something happen with Von Karma? Yes, nothing of the sort. But uh, you just said yesy. <laughs> that yesy just now was only a greeting. You're cute, boy. I like you. What's your first name? Eh, it's Raymond. But well, Ray Ray, I think you'll make a good man of yourself someday. R Ray Ray. How about that? I think you have a way with British ladies. Oh, she, she, she is British. She is British. That's why I was like originally I was gonna be like. And, like, make, like, Hi, a grandma. grandma, like, a really obnoxious, high-pitched anime girl, like, oh, how can this be? No, but, no like, please. I... Oh, that just hurt my ears sorry. right there. Sorry, I'm a soprano. <laughs> this is one of the reasons I can't get into anime, because all the girls are always like, yeah! Not all of them. Sometimes you get the anime girls that are like, huh. Oh. Princess, <laughs> <laughs> we, we have to, to... <laughs> <laughs> go. <laughs> 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 She's a little different from my image of a lady. Why don't we listen to what she has to say? During the contest. Could you tell me about your actions during the contest? I killed the guy! <laughs> <laughs> That's the end. You're like, actually, this is the shortest case imaginable. <laughs> yes, see, we may... We, nope, that's, that's definitely... We already have surpassed the We began the claim. making desserts. No. We began making desserts for the contest around 10 o'clock. We've already surpassed the length of the first case of the first game. Basically, I was in here making my desserts the whole time. At half past one, I joined the afternoon tea for about an hour or so. Afternoon tea? It's a social occasion where okay. conversation is had over black tea and This case. actually works that her voice is just changing in and out because maybe her, like, age is ambiguous, so it's like sometimes she sounds young and sometimes she's like... Or she's oh, lived no. in a bunch of different places so she can slip into different accents. La, 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 la. Look at that smile on Gregory, though. That's the one that Edgeworth has. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so it's pretty much a tea party. Well, I suppose. <laughs> oh, Greggy, you're a smart boy, aren't you? You're drifting out of the Mary Berry voice I for know. sure. When did I become Greggy? That was like, the most whiny no I've ever heard. <laughs> <That was not>. <laughs> <laughs> you never heard our cousins then. Oh, okay. Our cousins fine. are really, really. Oh, Sorry, or blue, blue watch. from Foster Show. Come on! <laughs> <laughs> Why do people watch our videos? They don't. <laughs> <laughs> Where was the afternoon tea held? It took place in the gardens outside of the fountain patio. That would be freezing! It's Christmas Eve! <laughs> it's our customary break time during the contest. It's always held at the same time. It's always held at the same, same time. For me, the gin is not there. <laughs> <laughs> Today, there were just three of us who took part. See, she doesn't look like she has the Mary Berry voice. She's like, okay, she, you can, you can give her. Jeffy, put... Katie, and me. Since Jeffy had already finished his creations, he was there from the beginning to the end. I'm slipping into warning. I see Augusty didn't join in because they hadn't finished their desserts yet. So everyone other than Mr. Dover and Mr. Gustavia participated. Yes, actually, I hadn't finished my dessert yet, either. I just wanted to try some of Jeffy's handmade pastries and Katie's fresh fruit tea. I took the first one of those. So, after I'd eaten my fill, I returned before everyone else. During the contest, did you enter any of the other contestants' rooms? Uh, what, what are you 
you saying? We found your fingerprints on the desserts at the crime scene. Did we? Uh, you found them. Yeah, we tested for them. Oh, Friends that's right. Yeah, we found them. You found them. Are you admitting Her that you went like to the Her hair looks like cinnamon rolls. Yeah, they do. <laughs> Sorry. Are you admitting that you went to the scene of the murder? <laughs> I admit it. But I'm not the murderer. It's the honest truth. Please hear me out. The honest truth, eh? What were you doing in Mr. Master's room? The truth is... I was studying his desserts. Studying? Because Jeffrey, Jeffy's so talented in making sweets. That's an understatement. <laughs> well, nobody was in his room at the time, so I just decided to study his works for a bit. Uh-huh. Yeah. She's small enough to get through the dog door that leads to the room. <laughs> <laughs> Jeffy just has a dog. He's a good boy. He's a chocolate lab. He's a good boy. Yeah. <laughs> but if you were just looking, you wouldn't have left your fingerprints behind. Yeah, see, it's natural that I left the fingerprints on the desserts. For the sake of research, I ate some of his desserts. Eh? Uh -huh. Isn't that like stealing food? It couldn't be. The one who wrecked Mr. Master's room was... <laughs> I'm sorry. It wasn't my intention to vandalize the room, but... I did eat a few parts of the desserts in his room. I secretly ate little bits and pieces so Jeffy wouldn't find out. Yeah, no one will ever find out. So, did you eat the ship stand as well? Yes, I did! The chocolate ship broke How? because of you. Wait. Who would go to the stand and be like, Gonna take a bite! <laughs> And then it breaks and falls on you. No, no, no. She ate it, but it didn't break right away. Otherwise, Catherine would have found her in the room when she entered. Because the ship fell, and then Catherine immediately was like, huh? I thought she would have, like, <laughs> hidden in the cupboard or something because she's small. Oh, maybe that's possible. <laughs> I'm sorry. So the reason she left the afternoon tea early was to preserve her appetite. But you got to believe me on this. I'm not the murderer. Her actions are sufficiently suspicious, but I won't press on it yet. Hmm. I'm an attorney. Ooh, what's that? This badge is proof that I'm a defense attorney. Does this mean she ate a literal wood because it's not actually a chocolate frame? No, that was a chocolate frame. Oh, okay. Everything was made out of chocolate. Hoy? Yeah. Hoy! Hoy. I'm Temmy! Hoy, I'll show you mine too. The chef's hat has proof that I'm a pastry chef. Is that so? But aren't those sold in stores? Hey, it's not the hat that's important, it's the spirit you wear with the hat that matters! So then, wouldn't that mean just about anyone can become a pastry chef? Anyone can cook! You know who she also reminds me of? She reminds you of someone? Fat princess. Chicken! Oh, a little bit. I am literally like two or three heads taller than her. Well, she's probably like 4'10". She's like Rosanna Pansino. From this. She's the chick I don't know who that is. You know Nerdy Nunnies? No. On YouTube? Oh, okay. She makes stuff. There are nerdy nuns on YouTube? No, it's oh, Nerdy Nunnies. Oh, um, um, hi there, blood. Deduce. It looks like both the lamps and the pillars are broken. Both of their light bulbs are broken. Maybe they were dropped on the floor. There's some sort of red stain on this lamp surface. This stain. Could it be? That smell. There's no mistaking it. It's a blood stain. Well, you see, I scr I I cut my arm with my knife and then I swiped it on the, the blimp. It's made of salt! That would hurt like crazy! It would stop the wound. <laughs> eh! Th that's a blood stain. Why is there a blood stain on this lamp? I wonder if this has something to do with the lamp bulb being broken. No, I couldn't be. I should also take a look at the other lamp here. So this is where Delisha originally intended to put the lamps. I don't get why she put them in the castle. Since they're broken and they don't light up, maybe she decided to put them out of the way? Mm -hmm. If she wanted them out of the way, there are many other places to store them. It's like that old saying, hide the salt in the sugar bag. I think the saying goes, hide a tree in the forest. 
if Doisha intended to use these lamps as decorations during the contest, it creates a contradiction with that piece of evidence. I need to deduce the contradiction of the scene. Well, first off, can we logic any of this stuff together? Beaten to death. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, gee, I, I wonder, yeah, hmm, oh, maybe he was Wait, beaten to you death mean with the not rock. The lamp. High room temperature? Oh, we can come connect those two. There is evidence that the victim was beaten to death with a blunt object. What's more, there's a blood stain on one of the broken rock salt lamps. Could this lamp have been the murder weapon? You're right! It could have been used as a weapon! Labby. Oh my gosh. Is the blood analysis on this rock salt lamp finished? Yes, sir! It finished just a few moments ago! The blood stain on the lamp belonged to the victim! You heard what he said. Rock salt lamp added to the court record. The murder weapon was hidden in Delisha's room. Now I regret giving the guard that voice. It's <laughs> so hard. We need to consider her one of the suspects as well. <laughs> Alright, now we can do fragile desserts and the high room temperature. We should have connected those earlier, but oh well. The reason the fresh cream is so fragile is due to the temperature in this room. In reality, Gregory just had to think about it for like a solid 15. And he was like, <laughs> I got it! <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> so my shoes got creamed because the room temperature is set at 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Speaking of which... When you opened the castle door, the doorknob didn't break. Yeah. It was stronger than I thought. Strong? A dessert? Detective Bad, could you have a closer look at that doorknob? It's a real doorknob. This is. It would seem this doorknob isn't a dessert. And it's not just the doorknob. This castle and the fairies are just plastic molds coated in fresh cream. <laughs> then this isn't a dessert piece at all! Uh -huh. It would seem they're just fake desserts covered in fresh cream. How did she get to the finals, then? Wouldn't they, like, I don't know, cut a slice of cake out of there? Those don't connect! It seems these two pieces of information aren't related. <laughs> <laughs> Seems I was a bit too hasty in jumping to conclusions. Oh, I thought those connected. I guess not. All right, well then. Deduce. Is this spot somehow connected to any of the evidence I hold? Okay, well let's take a look at these. Rock salt lamp. Place in Delicia's room, and it's stained in the victim's blood. Ugh, a vivid blood stain was left behind. I can't believe the murder weapon came from inside the candy castle. Raymond, if it's too difficult, you don't have to look at it. I I'm fine! I I'm going to become a lawyer after all! <laughs> I see. You have a promising future. Oh, great. I like Gregory. This rock salt lamp has a hexagonal base. The recess in the pillars must have been made to match this shape. After all, they fit the pillars in the candy castle perfectly. Okay, fluorescent claw belongs to Delisha. One of them is missing. Oh, we had. Oh, that's a cool machine. A blue cloth. I like this relaxing color. As expected, Mr. Edgeworth, that's so old school. Come on, let's hurry up and make it glow. Y yes. Does he mean I'm old fashioned? Mansion key is in master's possession. Someone left the finger marks on the chocolate frame. No fingerprints are found. Just teapot made by Pierre Jorge. Crime scene notes. Notes on the crime scene. The body was recovered by the police. Second crest. Contest rules. Oh, hang on. Maybe it's the contest rules with... Oh, uh, with the doors? Uh-huh. Yeah, let's try it. Eureka! Eureka! Detective Bad, look at this. Don't you think it's strange? I think what's strange is your deduction. No. <sighs> If your brain isn't working right, then it's due to the lack of sugar. I'll sell you one of my lollipops for two bucks. That sounds a tad high. Yeah, those are usually 50 cents. <laughs> Is there no evidence of a contradiction with the castle decorations? I just pointed it out to you. What do you want from me? Wow, this is almost like a blind let's play for me as well. It's 
just the salt lamp with the salt lamp? No, no. it's not. The salt lamp with the salt lamp. Mm -hmm. Are we on the wrong rock salt lamp? Is it just that we're trying to prove that there's differences between the two of them? Like, here's the rock solid lamp, and then we give the other one? No? Oh, really? Okay, so we have to use that on the lamps instead of the door. Okay. Detective Bad, please read the contrast to Leaflet. Any decorations not made from desserts are prohibited. I- but they should have worked on the door, too! Huh. These rock salt lamps and the fluorescent cloths go against the rules. Oh, and now we can connect that with the Delicia one. So, maybe that's why they were hidden in the castle? I wonder about that. I think we should investigate further into Delicia's actions. Okay. Uh, Delicia broke the rules, and she had a... F well, hang on. I think we would connect those two first, because those are both about breaking the rules. Using decorations that were against the rules, and making fake desserts. A lot of Delicia's actions seem suspicious. Yeah. It doesn't seem like she's aiming to be the world's greatest pastry chef. Also, the temperature of this room is way too high. Is there a reason for that? Fake desserts added to the court record. I like the design of Yon Raymond, though. He looks cool. Uh-huh. I wonder. I think we should ask Delisha directly. I think it's maybe his face. He looks a little like Henri. Henri Japan. Yeah. Delicia, why is the room temperature set to 68 degrees Fahrenheit? The cold doesn't agree with me. Plus, it's bad for the body. This figure doesn't just maintain itself, you know. Naturally, as a lady, I want to look young forever. I wonder how old Miss Delicious really is. Raymond, a true gentleman never asks a woman her age. This well, isn't wait. Professor Layton. Luke, my boy, a true gentleman never asks a woman her age. <laughs> this room... It's mainly filled with cream, and 50 degrees Fahrenheit is the recommended temperature for preserving fresh cream. What? Really? Now it's all gone to waste! It looks like Miss Delicious didn't know. Maybe she, like, was the replacement chef for another one. <laughs> they were like, we can't have this competition with They're, only four chefs. She's not the real Delicia. <laughs> she's filling in for the real one. <laughs> The real Delisha got sick, like, with coronavirus. <laughs> it's like, no, you must go. I, I must win. For a second, I thought this was going to turn into, like, a Mulan situation where they're like, the person who's <laughs> killed, the person who's killed is a man. And then they, like, actually oh. examine the body and they're like, oh, it's a female. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to say, like, it's like Mulan. I will do the contest in my father's place. <laughs> yeah, kind of like, and also that. <laughs> I thought she was supposed to be a first-class pastry chef. Yeah, how did she make it to the finals week in British Bake Off when she's... Oh, wait, she Amateur have. Bakers. Amateur Bakers. The fake desserts and the rule violations. I still and now, thought she would be the child. <laughs> her lack of basic knowledge. She stops at nothing. Looks like she keeps many secrets. Cake! Cake, please! Cake, please! Delicia's knowledge in the art of dessert making is lacking it in fundamental areas. And she claims she went into Mr. Master's room in order to study his desserts. These actions and ideas are not fitting of someone aiming to be the world's greatest pastry chef. Yeah. They don't sound like the words of a pro. It's like she doesn't even realize it, or... Or maybe she isn't a real pastry chef. Perhaps she had some other intention. It's possible that she didn't go into the room to study desserts. So then... Are you saying Miss Delicious is the criminal? We can't say that for sure yet. But I know she's hiding something from us. Investigation complete! Refill all our HP, please. That's enough investigating. Hmm... We found much more than I expected. And yet, something from before still bothers me. Prosecutor Von Karma must have found the murder weapon in this room. So then, why did he let Delisha be? 
Firstly, I must ascertain Mr. Von Karma's true motives. Detective Bad, I would like to ask Prosecutor Von Karma something. I've also got business with him. And Doisha there, too. Iggy, what's the idea, Batty? To glare at me like that? It seems Detective Bad also has his doubts about Doisha and Von Karma. Delisha, would you come with us for a moment? Yes, yeah, that's fine. What for? We have to find Von Karma. There are some fiends we need to talk about. December 24th, 8.05 p.m. Contest venue, Fountain Patio. Your guard, my guard. Pro oh. <laughs> <laughs> Prosecutor Von Karma, that's my name, remember it. <laughs> Prosecutor Von Karma, we need to talk about the case. Look, it's Santa. <laughs> From the look on your face, I assume you found the murder weapon. Yes. We discovered the murder weapon in Delisha's room. It would seem Mr. Master isn't the only suspect in this case. Bah! That's not true. Where the murder weapon was found does not change the fact that Master is the culprit. As long as I am here. Why is Von Karma so sure of himself? Well then, aren't you going to explain why the murder weapon was in Delisha's room? Humph! <laughs> Naturally. If you wish to know, I'll tell you. Boom. Oh yeah, about the murder weapon. We cross-examined Von Karma. First time in the series, actually. We never cross-examined him in any other case. We didn't? No. We didn't. Not even in not even in Turnabout Goodbyes. He was always at the prosecutor's bench. He never gave testimony. Didn't we call him up there though? Cause... Nope, we called the Bedgeworth. Okay. In order to pin the crime on Delisha, Master used the rocked salt lamp to kill the victim. He then deposited the murder weapon in Delisha's room. If he had left the murder weapon at the crime scene, Master would have been the one suspected. He couldn't move the body, but it was easy to move the murder weapon. Ergo, there would be no evidence pointing to a specific culprit at the crime scene. I'm so... <laughs> spluttering. Uh, I'm really passionate. <laughs> Mr. Master took the rock salt lamp. Precisely. I carried out the investigation myself. There could be no room for doubt. Do you have the evidence that he moved it? Humph! <laughs> that will not be necessary. What? If you have no objection, say it. Do you think a mere defense attorney can break my logic? You're <laughs> I'm so... Oh, don't get this, sorry. <laughs> Deep breaths, Von Karma. Remember what your physician said. <laughs> Don't go on stairs. Always take the elevator. <laughs> He's the guy with the high blood, blood pressure medication. Same with Bowser. Anyhow, I think, Bowser I think we have to end the episode. Bowser has high blood pressure? Yeah, in, uh, in Faust in Your Door. Yeah. Bowser, remember your blood Bowser. pressure? <laughs> oh, yeah, I literally just played that. Jeez. Yeah, that's an amazing game. Thanks for watching, everybody. Tune in next time. We're cross-examining Von Karma. <laughs> Spa days back again. <laughs> yes. 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 Anyhow, until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless.